fate needs you, Proxy. You there. You look like a capable forager. I need some help. Can we talk? Thank the ancestors you stopped. Right. Well, <clears throat> I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I need to collect ingredients for a medicinal tincture, and I simply don't have time. I need someone to help. Ah, yes. I am Balva Bemis, retainer to Oathman Lero Rawless of House Telvani. Lero suffers from beastly headaches, and I'm making a tincture to address his malady. I need some hard-to-attain ingredients. If you aid me, I'll pay you well. I need the musk gland of a bull netch. I spotted some netch remains around Kemel Z. Also a plant called the volcanic stinkhorn from near Salen Mora. And lastly, fungal blooms from a dead shroom beetle. The best ones skitter around Tel Drelov. Once you collect the ingredients, I'll make the necessary preparations at my workstation in Aldisra. You know, getting the viscosity right and all that. She just threw me out. What am I going to Please. I have no one else I can turn to. I need help. I worked as a servant in the towers of Tel Drelov. Nathan, the son of Mistress Drelov, is being kept prisoner there. At least, I think he must be. Nathan and I had plans to leave Tel Drelov together. Someone must have found out because the day we planned to leave, I was dismissed from my position. Mistress Drelov, or Suthiel, I suppose, pushed me out without a chance to see Nathan. If she's holding him against his will. He'll be in the isolation tower. The only access is through the lab in the caverns that run underneath. There's a key in the top floor of the main tower, please. Can you help me? I'll pay for your assistance.
was a waste of time.
Hold on. Head to old Isra. Ah, welcome. You returned at just the right moment. Ah! Excellent. Yes, I see you found the remaining ingredients. Knew you could do it. Knew you could. Give them to me, if you please. Everything else is prepared. Well done. Hm. Yes, just needs a bit of finessing. Brilliant. Should be all ready now to give to Oathman Lero. <sighs> May I ask one more favor? Could you give it to him in my stead? Last I saw him, he was meeting with Spellwright Varsva. Oh, you know, the usual cleaning this, tossing that, busy, busy. I also... I, I need to avoid the mushrooms. Yes, that's it, the mushrooms. All those spores in that area are murder on the sinuses. What? In large doses, perhaps, but... Oh, all right. It's poison. But understand, Laro is dreadful. A violent bully, totally unfit for his station. You'd be doing a favor to all House Telvani. It is up to you, but please deliver the tincture. Headaches are no excuse for poor results. You are of House Telvani. Find a remedy and press on. Ah, my head. Well, do you need something? I don't have time to waste with someone below my station. 
I've important House Telvani affairs to see to, and my head is aching. Oh, don't mind if I do. Balva Bemis sent word that he had made a tincture for me. Glad you managed not to get lost. Damn these headaches. Makes it hard to concentrate and deal with my indolent and incompetent retainers. Careless fool! Didn't even take a whiff before guzzling down a vial from a stranger. Well, I suppose his seat is empty now. I wonder who will claim it. It worked? It worked! Is he... Oh, he is quite dead. Um, it feels as though a great weight has been lifted from my chest. I can't thank you enough for playing your part. You did wonderfully, and I am freed from my terrible predicament now. I don't know how to repay you. Or, wait, I do. Uh, here's the coin I promised. Well, we need a replacement. By the power granted me by House Telvani, I bestow upon you, Balver Bemis, the rank of Oathman. Now be gone before someone poisons you. Oathman! Well, if you say so, Spellwright, I... I promise to bring pride and glory to House Telvani. Wait, hold on. Headed to all Isra. Oh good, you stopped. No time for details. People eager to see me dead will come over that hill at any moment. So, want to earn some easy gold? Tell Hulan. The tower at all Isra's east end. Inside, there's a green mushroom. By that mushroom, there's a dark elf. She'll probably insult you. She's my contact. Deliver this letter, then walk away with a pocket full of gold. Better you don't know, but fine. There's a spy among the Assembly of Masters. My contact's here to end the threat. Look, can you take this letter to her? Don't open it, don't look at it, don't talk about it. Hand it over and you're done. Deal? Remember, a dark elf by a green mushroom in Telhulin. Tell her, both light and shadow can be deadly. She'll reply, though only one chases the other. Then hand over the letter, and she'll give you gold. Now, go while I lead my pursuers away. Get to tell Hulin. I'll draw off my pursuers.
Fate needs you, Prince. Any delay is unacceptable. We hired the Morag Tong to deal with this problem. Follow all you want. It won't change my process. Outrageous! How well, look you... what the Nixarchs Master dragged in. Foes, what are you word. doing here, hero? Are you following me again? Seriously, what brings you to this house of arrogance and whining? Though only one chases the other. All right, it's obvious Folsi sent you, and she gave you the code of a courier. That tells me you have something for me. Go on, then. Hand it over. Folsi can fend for herself. Right now, I need to see if she learned anything to point me to the true identity of my target. To Desim, the name on the writ is an alias. Interesting. According to Fosi, House Drez established a camp to the south. Fosi seems to think so. Since you want to get paid, how about you help me out? I need to assassinate a spy and tell Hulan. But to do that, I need to figure out who actually deserves my blade. It's quite legal. I have a Morag Tong writ of execution. A binding document that gives me the authority to eliminate the name on the writ. We figure out who Tridesim actually is, I finish the job, you get paid, and we go home. Not together, necessarily. Depends on my mood. So, what do you say? Congratulations, you're my new foci. First, go to the servants' quarters to the west and ask Akigo about the spy. Then visit the Drez camp to the south and see if they have any connection to this Tridesim. I need to keep watch here, just in case. Ah, hero. If we had a bottle of wine and all the time in the world, the stories I could tell you. But I really want to complete this writ and then wash the stink of the Talvani out of my hair. Can we catch up later, please? No, Sulis. I'm out of patience. We need this finished now! Master Foves, calm yourself. This solves nothing. Come, Gito. Leave the hireling to her work. Yes, Master Foves. Well, unlike Foves, I am at your... Nothing to say to you. Word travels fast in old Isra, outsider. I heard you work with the Dark Lady. Last time she came through, I had to clean up three bodies. If she sent you to ask for my help again, the answer is, politely, no. I do not want her to be angry with me. Just information? No risk to scale or tail? Very well. I don't know about a spy, but a servant leaves the quarters late every Sundas and Midas night, then returns early the next morning. No idea who, but there's always a strange smell the next day. What? No! It's locked for a reason? We servants don't have that much. I won't let a stranger in to go through our meager belongings. Nope, this key stays right here with me. You wouldn't. You would? Fine. Working for House Telvani is just one terrible moment after another. Here. But I don't want to know anything about what you do in there. Just leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it once you leave.
Did you see that woman outside? If looks could kill, she wouldn't need those nine. Was that you, rummaging around upstairs? If you're a new servant, then I hope you learn to respect other people's belongings. Also, and I'll try to say this gently, your smell is quite pungent. I have, and I wish they'd do it quietly. I won't tell the head steward, but they could repay my discretion by not disturbing my sleep. And no, I don't know who it is. Staying ignorant means I don't need to lie when someone asks. Yes, and it's right in front of me. Have you been wrestling in the swine pond? Probably with the servant that sneaks out late at night, I imagine. Please take that smell and leave. We've been trying to air out this place for weeks. Well, last week, the head steward assigned me to Master Sulis' quarters. He's friendly in public, but exceedingly mean behind closed doors. I heard him talking with Masters Foves and Filsi about a secret project, but I didn't get any details. I have, and I wish they'd do it quietly. I won't tell the head steward, but they could repay my discretion by not disturbing my sleep. And no, I don't know who it is. Staying ignorant means I don't need to lie when someone asks. Yes, and it's right in front of me. Have you been wrestling in the swamp? Hey, hero. Find anything pertinent to my writ? Notice how the servants around here love me. They know I'm here for bigger scribs than them. Well, come to think of it, I have had a writ or two for servants over the years. Three, actually. Anyway, find anything useful in there? You brought me a jar. Ugh, it reeks like Asha's undergarments. Why in the world would a servant need a jar of Kaguti musk? I can't think of a single useful purpose other than to stink up the place. Did Akigo have any useful information? Well, I'd say you'd found the source of the spell. But why go out on specific nights just to return with a jar of stink? Could it be some sort of weird romantic rendezvous? That's no courting ritual that I'm familiar with. Anything else? Now that's interesting. Certainly worthy of the efforts of a spy, depending on the nature of the project. Let's you and I keep this to ourselves for now. See what else we can learn about this secret project.
Over here, hero. Got anything interesting for me? Felsi's report didn't do this place justice. This isn't a camp. It's a House Dres foothold in House Telvani territory. Any chance you found anything that will help us find the spy in there? Well, that narrows down the list of suspects, and it also tells us how they exchange information with their contact. They're using the Kuguti nests to the north as a pickup spot. Did you find anything else? Add all this to that jar of Kaguti mask you found in the servants' quarters, and I think we're getting close to catching our spy. <laughs> Using false names to identify the masters. Clever. And demonstrates a sense of humor. Not quite yet. This could just be another diversion. Let's not jump to too many conclusions just yet. So, it appears that an aide or servant leaves messages for House Drez at the Kuguti Nest to the north, using the mask to keep from being attacked. First, go to Talhulan and update Master Sulis. Then, we'll check on those nests. The clues indicate that Tredesim is an aide to one of the masters, who also sleeps in the servant quarters. They use Kuguti Mask to approach the northern nests to exchange messages with House Drez. Update Master Sulis. Then join me at the nests. Not a bad time to review the evidence. Ah, you're assisting the Morag Tong agent, correct? As busy as I am, I can always spare a moment for the hired help. Oh, that is good to hear. 
Even though the Assembly enacted the writ, I know that Naryu is under no obligation to keep us informed. I appreciate it. I know better than to ask for specific details. The Morag Tong prefers to work unhindered. Anything else? The Masters send representatives to the Assembly. Our mouths. They have the authority to speak in our names. Some sessions require a master or two to attend, as well as any aides and servants. Scribes take notes so every master can stay informed. You did, did you? Interesting. Yes, I'm working on something with Masters Foves and Thilsey. We've been meeting frequently until fairly recently, then Foves stopped attending. He's worried about the spy. His aide delivers him notes after each meeting. A very informative update. Thank you. Now you should get back to it. We'll all feel safer and more secure once this spy has been dealt with. Permanently. Hyaling, I hope you have a strong sense of discretion. Talking to Master Sulis like that may not be wise. I have concerns about him. Have you and the Assassin made progress? I totally understand. What some call paranoia, I call prudent caution. This spy could cause irreparable damage to the Assembly, if not to House Telvanni itself. Tell me, what did you and Master Sulis talk about just now? Did he now? How easily he let slip confidential information to a stranger. I know others find me grating, but I've spent my life making House Telvanni stronger. This spy threatens our stability. I need you to find them. Eliminate this threat. I don't like this feeling of the wolves at the door. Your confidence encourages me. Thank you for talking with me. Now I must go. I swear my aide Gito is avoiding me. Just between us, he's let his grooming lapse. His odor is quite... Unpleasant. I'll give him a little longer, but we need to keep the roads clear.
interesting. Let's talk with this in fresh air. I smell like a kagoody. This place smells like a kagoody. And you definitely smell like a kagoody. Let me see that letter you found. Master Foves' aid. Interesting. Once House Drez heard about the writ, they must have panicked. Not so fast, hero. Have we found everything here at the Kagudi nests? There might be more clues scattered around this Drez message relay. Ugh, oh, what's that on the letter? Are you sure that's just mud? Why don't you just read it to me from over there? Ah, probably that secret project the servant mentioned. Foes is part of the project, so as his trusted aide, Guiteau gains access to the details, may have even taken the notes himself. What else? Bristleback, Sparrow, that letter, and the dress camp explained these code names. This means Master Foves worked with Guiteau this whole time. They even tried to frame Master Sulis as the spy. Can't say I'm overly surprised. My next step is quite clear. I kill Guito. The writ covers Tradesim and just Tradesim. Anything you want to do beyond that is up to you, hero. Let's return to Telhulan. Hopefully Guito is there so I can wrap this up. Meet me in Telhulan. We can finish this there. Brigands, scoundrels, fleshy constructs. Fate needs you, Proxy. Tell me, Assassin. Looks Have like we dealt? got to that letter before Guiteau. He never received his orders to slip away and make a break for the dress camp. Makes my life easier.
Now I complete my writ. I figured you'd want to witness the professional at work. After all your help, you've earned that right. The rules are quite explicit. I can only terminate the person or persons listed on my writ, and this writ only covers Tradism. We know there's Gito, so he's my only target. A Talvani master may be guilty of scheming, but that's nothing new. She did, did she? I suppose you did go out of your way to help a woman with a writ. Here you go, payment is promised. Never let it be said that Noryuvirian doesn't pay for services rendered. Thanks again, hero. Now, for my final bit of business. Once I finish here, she did, did she? Master Foves, it seems your aid has been speaking out of turn. No! Oh. Mercy, please! If you're certain, assassin, then do as you will. No! You'll have to catch me first! Help is so difficult to come by. Pity you had to kill one of the good ones.